Do this, Carmen. This is the last one already. Whoa! Yes, done. Hi, kids. I believe you met my partner last week. Yes, I guess you already know I am an agent. But did you know I am specifically an agent that is like this bridge over here, and I'm here to help people connect to God because this month we are talking about peace. Peace is proving you care more about each other than winning an argument. When you make peace with someone, it's like you're building a bridge. You won't let anything to come between you. You'll find a way to make it across the gap, like this. Okay, so you can make things right and be friends again. Last week during Easter Day, we started our new series, Reconnect. We are going to use the whole month of April to present to you why we should reconnect to God and how we are going to reconnect to Him. But for now, let's go into a time of praise and worship, because worship is one way that we can connect to God. So let's do it.
Welcome back. Last week, we learned about how God makes peace with us through the story of Jesus dying on the cross. Today, we're going to learn about how we can make peace with others. Yes, it's with others. Again, Samson, Miriam, and Martha, and Tabitha will tell us more. All yours, my friends. Hi everyone! I went and tried the balloon experiment. It was really, really cool! It's great! But do you remember what the main story was about? Yes! So God had a great plan to make peace with us and that plan was giving us Jesus. That's right! And today we will be learning more about that peace and how we can live in peace with one another. Mm, Samson, are you okay? What's wrong with you? I don't know. I feel itchy, but I can't seem to find the itchy. It feels itchy here, but when I scratch, scratch, it doesn't help. So I'm trying to find the correct spot. It sounds like your body is not at peace. What do you mean? Oh, this is getting terrible. Your body is not working together. That's why you can't find peace. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't understand what you guys are talking about. It's like this. If you want to walk across the room, your brain tells your legs to move. If you touch something hot, your body reacts quickly to make, you, make sure you pull your hand away. God designed all these different parts of your body to work together. So, what Tabitha means is, Samson's body is not working together right now to find the correct place to scratch. Ah, oh, no wonder. Are you sick, Samson? Do you need to find some peace? 
<laughs> I don't know. Maybe the story will distract me from feeling itchy. Mata, is today's story about itchy or scratchy? Can you please tell us the story now? Okay, okay. Today's story is about this verse in the book of Colossians. Let's read. Okay, in the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 15, it says, Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you are appointed to live in peace and be thankful. Hmm, what does that mean? And what's the cute little boy doing? Like how God designed our bodies to work together, that's the same way He designed us to work with each other too. Oh, that boy is playing with a Mr. Potato Head. Oh, so cute! I had one of those. Oh, oh, I get that Mr. Potato Head has to do with today's story. He has body parts and those parts can be pulled out. Ooh, that sounds painful. <gasps> that is just a toy! I'm the one in pain now because I'm suffering from this unscratchable itchy! Actually, speaking about pain, it happens. What do you mean? In the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 15, Paul was actually telling a group of believers that they should live in peace with each other and get along. But as we all know, that isn't always so easy. As we go through our day, there are many things we can argue about, right? We argue about what to watch on TV, we disagree about which seat in the car we'll sit in, we can't possibly agree on which video game to play, and who gets to be player one, two. We can't get along because we all want things our way. Oh no, it must be frustrating if we can't agree. Yeah. How do we make sure that we are all working properly together in peace, like parts of one body in the correct position? Yes! Tell us! Maybe it will help to stop my itching! Remember the verse earlier? It said to let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. Oh... You mean, it is all about the peace that Christ gives? That's right. We can try our best to make peace with others on our own, but it's our relationship with Jesus that will really make the difference. The peace that Jesus gives us changes us. It helps us when we have a disagreement with someone and our friendship feels broken and mixed up. Like that weird Mr. Potato Head just now. Oh! It goes back all the way to Easter. I remember God gave us the perfect example of peace. Jesus was God's plan for peace. And so with Jesus, we have peace. Indeed, God made a way for us when he sent Jesus to be our saviour. When Jesus died on the cross, he paid the price for all of us, for all our wrong choices. Jesus made a way for us to have peace with God and with others. When we really believe that's true and we experience God peace, God's peace for ourselves, it will start to change our hearts. The peace we have from God will help us make peace with, with other people. Oh, that's what Paul meant. If we really believe what we have learned, that God has made peace with us, and has given us peace, then in our hearts, we can change from the wrong and selfish ways of thinking that we have and agree on things. Like how Blackpink is a better K-pop group. Hey, no, you mean BTS, right? No. <laughs> Hey guy, I'm so stretchy! I was so worried about my face that it was an allergy reaction or something. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm okay. Samsung is still handsome. <laughs> That's really great news, Samson. I mean about the H being gone. But not about the still handsome part. <laughs> um, Tabitha, Miriam, you both look upset. 
Remember the peace that God gives us will make us want to make peace with others? After all, God set the example when He made peace with us by sending Jesus. But, but she keeps saying that Blackpink is cooler. Well, they are. <laughs> you girls keep forgetting that Samsung is the coolest. But after today's lesson and having my body not working properly with the funny runaway itchy, I have learned that it is so much better when the body works together properly. So, I will learn to be at peace with others and not be upset with you because Sansa is not only handsome, he is awesome too! Every day we have a choice to make. Are we going to try to have everything our way? Or are we willing to put that aside so we can make peace with others? Let's choose to treat others the way we want to be treated. Let's live like one body. Let's live in peace. It can be tough, but we know God is always there to help us. After all, He made us to live in peace with each other. He sent Jesus so that we could have true peace that will never end. He will help us. So remember, we can make peace with others. Is there someone who you need to make peace with? Your mom, your brother, one of your friends at school? Think of someone in your life you know you need to make peace with. Then make the first move to make things right. If you are not sure what to do, you can always ask your parents, your grandparents, or another adult you trust. They can help you figure out what you can do to make peace. Our memory verse for this month is Romans chapter 14, verse 19. Let's read it together. So let us do all we can to live in peace, and let us work hard to build up one another. That's right, we can make peace by building each other up showing how much we care. We can head to Kids Hangout now and talk about that some more. I will see you later. Bye!